Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. We're going to be installing this buck converter in this easy go workhorse. So we've already installed a lead time lithium iron phosphate battery in here in a previous video, but I didn't take the time to install the buck converter. So this video is the buck converter video. So this is a DC to DC converter, also known as a buck converter because it's dropping the voltage. I've been running these in my club car for a while even with the lead acid batteries, you really want to run these because it keeps you a constant 12 volts coming to your stuff. Your lights don't flicker, keeps everything steady. These are definitely must have. There's lots of different brands. This one I got on eBay for like 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description, but it's good for 17 volts all the way up to 55 volts. So whatever golf cart you're putting it in, you just put it in. I have run lead acid batteries so low on a drive test that it was down below 17 volts and this was still putting out 12 volts. So awesome to use. All right, let's get to this. Take off these cute little covers. I've gone ahead and I've already disconnected the solar power coming in. Golf cart's off. Unfortunately, this battery does not have an on and off on it. But that has cut the power. I'm just gonna leave all those connected together. All right, so this is what I've got to hook my buck converter to. That's the 12 volt supply going to the lights on this. It was hooked to two batteries and that's how I got the 12 volts. So I've got the connector I just barely cut off and I'm soldering my two negative leads to it. Okay, as you can see here, this is really handy. I got this at Harbor Freight. Anybody that solders wires together, you gotta get that, especially if you got bad eyesight. As you get older, you need this magnifying glass. I've soldered that connection on there, and then I've crimped a connection on here, and I've soldered a lead on here to go to the positive side. I know it's a little bit big, but that's what I had. Now for me, I don't worry about this taking power and draining my battery because I've got solar on here and I've always got tons of power. But for some people, they worry about these draining their battery. So you might want to hook it through your key switch or something like that to prevent that. And I am thinking something like this, probably right there. All right, here we go. So that's the number six self tapping screw. There we go, good and solid. So see, it's as simple as hooking this to here. Okay, let's gather up all of the negative. You start with the smallest on here. That, probably this, this, this on there. And then there's the main drive. It's getting to be a lot of wires. Okay. Good and tight there. All right, so we'll go smallest to biggest. Go with that. That's the battery charger. I haven't used the battery charger since I put the solar on, but I'm probably going to need it on our road test just in case we get out in the middle of nowhere and we have to charge this with the other golf cart. So we'll put the buck converter on there, and then our main power to the controller. I see that little spark. That's because this battery doesn't have an on and off switch. We just gotta hook it up live. More exciting that way anyways. We're gonna fan those out so they snug down good. Here we go, put these little cappy deals on and we should be good to go. All right, let's test the lights. There you go, headlights. That's nice, these are not gonna flicker at all while you're driving. All right, well, that's a wrap. We've got it all mounted. Everything's working. We've got power 12 volt again. I actually drove this around for a couple of weeks without any lights, so this is pretty cool. If you want to see all the mods we've done this golf cart, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next video.